Today's topic is chronic thromboembolic pulmonary hypertension, what you need to know. The heart pumps blood all around the body, providing tissues with oxygen while taking away carbon dioxide. This activity requires a lot of pressure, and that pressure is also needed to pump blood to the lungs and get it back to the heart. Chronic thromboembolic pulmonary hypertension, CTEPH, is a condition defined by high blood pressure that occurs in the pulmonary arteries. These arteries are responsible for taking blood away from the heart to the lungs. The high blood pressure is due to the formation of clots in the blood vessels, which end up leaving scar tissue as well. Around 5,000 new cases of CTEPH are diagnosed in the U.S. each year, although experts believe that the actual number is far greater. Let's look at the condition in detail. Causes CTEPH occurs due to the formation of blood clots in the pulmonary arteries. These clots lead to the formation of scar tissue causing the arteries to narrow, putting more pressure on the heart. The clots may form due to blood diseases, inflammatory diseases, or certain cancers. Other risk factors associated with CTEPH are 1. Not having a spleen 2. Large, unprovoked pulmonary embolisms 3. Living with an infected pacemaker. 4. Going through thyroid replacement therapy. 5. Having A, B, or AB blood types. 6. Living with blood clotting disorders, such as antiphospholipid syndrome or lupus anticoagulant. Symptoms. People dealing with CTEPH usually exhibit the following symptoms. 1. Fatigue. 2. Feeling short of breath while exercising. 3. Heart palpitations. 4. Fainting. 5. Cyanosis. Blue color on the fingers and toes. 6. Development of edemas. 7. Coughing up blood. Rare. Diagnosis. A healthcare provider will first conduct a general examination before ordering any of the following tests if they suspect CTEPH. 1. An echocardiogram. This is done early in the diagnosis procedure. It helps determine the pressure in the lungs. 2. A lung ventilation perfusion scan, VQ scan. This conducts x-ray scans of the lungs to check for any blockage or clots. 3 a CT scan of the lungs. Four, a pulmonary angiography. Five, pulmonary function tests. And six, a right heart catheterization. Treatment. Surgery is the most common treatment option for CTEPH. It is preferred if the clots are accessible for removal. Other treatment options, in case the clots are not accessible or if the patient does not want to have heart surgery, include 1. Percutaneous balloon pulmonary angioplasty 2. Rhyosiguate treatment 3. Double lung transplant Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.